Okay, guys, I think I might be able to make a video without interruptions. But, you know, just because I just said that, an asteroid's probably going to fall from the sky and go <laughs> and, and distract me or distract the video. Anyways, I just did some chores and Danny Boy's asleep. <laughs> and, like, it seems like the rest of the house is asleep. I don't know. <laughs> Making this video, it's, everyone's probably going to get up and be like, I'm awake now. <sniffs> yeah. But, um, anyways. So, as I was saying. See what I mean? Now the clock's going to go off, but that's fine too. But, um, I just. I don't know, y'all. Like, I feel bad for people with mental illness because now, now it's like I understand why people don't like mentally ill people. And it is so sad. It's so sad because they have a point. You know, normal people don't need to take a happy pill, normal people don't have to take a sleeping pill. Normal people don't have to take a I'm hyper pill, which I like to call a mood stabilizer, because they're normal. And, like, I want to be normal so bad, but I know I can't, but I want to be so bad. You know, like, I tried getting off medicine, I did a good job, but then I was up at 4 a.m. You're not supposed to be up at 4 a.m., so... And I'm, like, walking around the neighborhood at 4 a.m. This moth talks to me, says, please save me. I take a moth from a bird, and then I take it to this guy's house, and I wake him up at 4 a.m. So, yeah, I can, I can see why I need to be on meds, because that's not normal behavior. You don't go saving moths and knocking at someone's door at 4 in the morning. And I feel sad for the people that I did it to. I understand that I almost killed somebody by knocking on their door. Basically, I gave someone a heart attack from knocking on their door. So it was my fault. So, like, I understand why I need to be on meds because normal people do not save moths, for one. Normal people don't even talk to moths, so that, that makes me mental right there. But um, normal people aren't walking around the neighborhood at 4 a.m. And that's what I was doing. So I had to get back on meds. Long story short. And I'm back on meds now. I'm gaining weight like a goose. I'm a mother goose right now. Let me show you my gooseness. Because I am a mother goose. Um. Yes, I'm... <laughs> this is from the dishes, y'all. Yes. But as you guys can see... I got the belly going on from my medicine because my psych meds are like weight gainers, all of them, especially the Zyprexa. And I got a belly. Ba -ba -ba -bum. Ba -bum -bum. I got a belly for you. I'm kidding. I got a belly for me, not you. But, you know, guys, like, I just, I feel bad for mentally ill people. I feel bad for myself, too, because, like, I, I feel like a drug addict again, but this time I'm a legal drug addict. What is it like to be a legal drug addict? That's what I am, right? Yeah, I'm a legal drug addict. Cause like when I did do drugs, I did drugs to get rid of the pain and the emotion and the stress of my life. That's why I got high, y'all. I'm sober. Five years. Six in September. And now I'm having those same emotions that I had when I was a drug addict. But instead of turning to illegal drugs, I'm getting back on a psych cocktail of meds. I'm on four meds now. And, 
y'all, this is just like, ooh, you know, I can see more and more meds coming my way, like shooting me in the head, boom, 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 and I'm just like, ugh, because I don't, I want to be strong, I want to love God, I want to be healthy, I want to do all these things, and society says I can't. So, I have to just, like, bury my dreams under the carpet or keep my dreams in my bed, only in my bed, and figure out what I'm going to do. Because I feel like a drug addict again. But this time, I'm a legal one. Yeah, really bad. But I am mentally ill. I need meds because if I don't have meds, I'm up at 4 a.m. Um, I need to start working out again. I've kind of slacked. But I got to tell you all something. It's really weird. So I haven't walked the past two days because it's been so hot. It is so hot. It is hot, y'all. Like, hot. And um, I still lost a pound. They took my weight today, and I weigh 181 pounds. So, since my last health department visit, I've lost one pound. I'm eating one meal a day. I cut out the sodas and the sugary drinks. I haven't quit the coffee. I wish I was strong enough to be able to say I quit the coffee, but I haven't. I'm aware of my caffeine habit, though. Like, I'm aware of it. I'm aware I'm doing it. I feel bad drinking it. <laughs> but I still drink it. Um, if coffee is the worst drug I do for the rest of my life, I think... Well, I can't say that God would be happy because I think God doesn't want me on anything. But... Um, you know, it's coffee, y'all. Like, chill. <laughs> Take a chill pill. It's coffee. <sighs> but anyways, um, I'm happy I was able to l l let out this video. Because <sighs> I do. I feel like a legal drug addict. And it is a horrible feeling. The only thing that's getting me through, though, is being able to say, Hey, girl, you're mentally ill, for one. For two, half your life you've been on a lot of meds, so it's okay, you're okay. You're just mentally ill, and you're taking medicine to be normal. And I'm about to take two new pills that I've never taken, together with what I'm on. Hopefully one of them will get rid of my nightmares. Hopefully the other one will stop my mania, because my mania is going crazy again. Maybe because coffee, I don't know. <laughs> It's because of something. There's something in the water. <laughs> something is there. So, um, you know, but I'm happy I was able to make this video. After this, I'm going to go clean my room. And I did clean the garbage that Danny Boy tried to eat. I won't lie, y'all. Next time you see my phone in the bathroom, it's going to be sparkly. Um, I got a phone case and a screen protector. Even though there's already a thousand scratches on my screen, I covered my scratches with a screen protector. <laughs> yes. So I've had my phone now for seven months. No, six months. I don't know. Shucks. I've had my phone for a while, and it's, it hasn't had a screen protector or a case on it. So I'm really lucky that it's okay. You know, I still have a phone, so I'm thankful. Thank you, guys. And, um, but now it has a screen protector and another case. Because the case I had on it kept getting foggy when I took pictures. So I had to take it off. So, Howie, I love that case. But I can only really use it on a rainy day. Because, like, the camera lens kept fogging up on it. So I had to get another case. But I got the cheapest one they had. I got one on clearance. Mm -mm -mm. And it's pink with sparkles on it. So... <laughs> This is Blue Star 3 on YouTube, Nikki Blue on TikTok. I love God, Jesus, myself. Y'all need to love God and Jesus. I'm kind of over doing the whole Father, Son, and Holy Ghost thing because I'm not Catholic, even though I have dated a Catholic. And I'm not making fun of Catholicism because Catholic is 